So Microsoft just released the first Redstone build for Windows 10 Mobile. It is build number 14267.1004 and we'll take a quick hands-on. My name is Easy and this is mslimitblog.com. So the first build for Redstone um, which is scheduled for release later this year is here on my Lumia 950 here. I have that installed from the fast ring Windows Insider. I'm just going to run through some of the new uh, features uh, coming with this new build. First off, uh, let's go into the dial pad. Um, I am using uh, the display being scaled down to the absolute minimum. So as you can see, if I click on the dial pad, my keypad now is much larger. Unlike on the regular build, when you go into your keypad, you can see the difference, how small it is. It also scales down your dial pad. Uh, Microsoft did fix this problem with the latest 1467 build, Redstone build on this device here. As you can see, the dial pad is now much larger. Uh, easy to use and that's the first um, improvement I would say with Windows 10 Mobile also if you got a dual SIM for Microsoft added the ability to use you can now use your visual voicemail there it's not activated uh, if you use like a non-branded AT&T phone for instance like the 950XL uh, visual voicemail was not enabled you had to download like a third party uh, voicemail application but now Microsoft has integrated natively the visual uh, voicemail into uh, non-branded Lumia 950s 950 XL so now that is activated you can use that with the latest build uh, really important Microsoft did bring back the insider hub as you can see it here just gonna launch it the insider hub is kind of like your your um notification center as a windows insider this is where you get your latest news on latest builds or you know just random stuff as a windows insider you want to uh, visit this regularly it shows you what's new with latest builds and stuff so there is the windows 10 universal app the insider app is now back on windows 10 mobile you have your announcements you have alerts uh, you've got your profile here you can see um, stuff how you can leave feedbacks and stuff so it's nice to see the insider hub uh, is back on Windows 10 mobile uh, it comes with the latest build on the fast ring which is the 14267 next up uh, Max have returned the music tag button you see it in a bit here I'm just launching Cortana for the first time. Just gonna go through this real quick. Turn it on. Blah blah blah. Go through all these settings. Let's launch Cortana again. Wait for that to load up. So, as you can see on the top right here, Microsoft returned the music tag, music search button. If you look regular build, it is missing. Um, it's, uh, it's actually my birthday. It's nice. Uh, so you can see the music search button is missing in the regular build here. To access it, however, you first have to activate um, the listening mode in Cortana. Then you can see the music button. Then you have to press it. So that's really, mm, it's not, it's not a nice way of doing things. So max up return to the traditional way where you can just go into Cortana and have quick access to the music search button right there at the top. So that's a good, good feature return to Cortana with the latest build. Next up, uh, Microsoft made it possible to use the WordFlow keyboard in Edge. Most of the improvements with this build actually come with Edge browser. If I can go in here and can go Yahoo and it works. So dot com for instance whereas on the uh, 10586 build uh, as you can see there is no word word flow keyboard so it has been activated with the latest build you can just do 
gmail you can see gmail right there dot com so wordflow has been activated in the edge browser uh, a bunch of new improvements with edge also you can go into the your tabs view and you can see you can have access to the in private tab where you can open up a new in private uh, browsing page quick access right there from the tab view and you can click on it right there and it opens it up next up there is now the option to choose where you want files downloaded from the edge browser saved for instance I can go to uh, let's see what can we download real quick go to vlc.com No, I guess it's vlc.org. Not sure. I'm just gonna search for it. No, videoland.org. Open that there. So when you click on download, you should get the option where it asks you where you want that file saved to. So there, do you want to save it? Say yes. Uh, it says downloading. So actually, uh, let's see, I think it says download. You can, however, let's see if I can change that setting here. Go into view private. I'm going to try and see where that setting is. Go back. So it says always ask me what to do with downloads. Hmm. Uh, for some reason it is turned on. I don't know why, but usually um, with the new Edge browser and the latest build, uh, let me see if I can try that again. Let's see what else can I download real quick. Do, do, do. Mm, can't think of anything. Uh, I don't know. Try putty. So I go to see if I can download. Mm, download. Click on download here. So there it says, what do you want to do with the file? I say save. So I'm not sure. Um, it should ask you where you want that file saved. Uh, but yeah, that is another option with the Edge browser. I have to take a deeper look and see what's going on there. Uh, next up, I might up return the, if you go into your people application, uh, you can click and you can see now the history tab has been returned you can see recent um, conversations communication with a particular contact from your people app uh, unlike on the regular view that feature is still missing although a lot of people have confirmed this update does come to non-insiders I haven't gotten that update yet but yeah that is a new uh, feature it is app independent it doesn't actually come to just the uh, redstone build but that's a good addition next up another app independent update is the addition of the uh, emojis so you can actually You can now see uh, your Skype emojis have access to them here. They're all loading up, fully animated and everything. So, so it's, gradually, Microsoft is really integrating Skype into the messaging app. And the longer we wait, more features will be added. And eventually, we will not need that independent Skype app because it's absolutely horrible right now. But... Uh, Microsoft is hands on deck with the uh, integrating Skype 
fully into the messaging app so bear with him on that one uh this update however is independent of the uh latest insider build so i'm guessing that is it with the uh 14.267 build um most of the features like i said came to edge browser uh inside a hub as you can see is back uh and that is what we expect more features to be added max are confirmed they're now really working on adding more stuff uh more views will be released at a faster pace so uh if you have a spare phone this would be a good time to be one of the first to test out the new features coming to the redstone uh build of windows 10. so yeah that is it my name's easy uh look forward to more new more videos with latest builds coming up and again thanks for watching bye